It's been only a couple weeks, but we already got the next CTGP update. There were actually two CTGP updates just in the month of December. It's pretty rare that we're getting two track updates in just a single month. In fact, I think this is actually the first time that we got two track updates in just a single month. And while that is obviously very cool, this update made me sad. I'm gonna talk about that later, but for now, we're just gonna play all the new tracks that got added slash updated in this new CTGP update. Enjoy! Alright, a total of 10 tracks were added slash updated in this CTGP update. We got 5 brand new tracks, 3 major updates and 2 minor updates. And we're just gonna be starting with the brand new tracks, starting off with Envenom Snowstorm. Ooh, I see, we got an ice track here. And there's Poisonous Lakes as well, that's pretty cool. This track was created by Luca, it's his second original design track that got into CTGP. His first one was Musical Cliff, which is already one of my favorite tracks of all time. So I'm definitely having very high expectations here. Let's just see how this track plays. Visually it looks pretty good, I gotta say. Alright. Might be a shortcut to the right there, not quite sure though. Alright, we got some ramps here, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I've not been commentating too much so far because one part of the track was basically just a straightaway. But I will try to commentate more on lap 2 so you can actually see the entire track. And yeah, so far this is pretty good. Oh, dude, do you see these poisonous lava hotheads, whatever they're called? That, that's pretty cool. I think they're a um, pretty underused object. I would love to see more of those in the future. And yeah, that's one lap already. This track's pretty good. It's not too long either, 48 seconds is a pretty good length. Like, we didn't get hit by any items, so an average lap in an online race is probably gonna be longer than that. But you know, that's still good. And <laughs> we're just getting reddit right now. But yeah, this track is really, really good. I wouldn't say it's quite as amazing as Musical Cliff, but it's definitely a good track. It can stay for a while. And yeah. Oh, we got also Poisonous, whatever they're called over here. I think they're called hot hats, but I'm not quite sure. Let's take this room. I don't know if that was actually worth it. But we're entering lap 3. This track's really fun to drive. I'm definitely having very high expectations for the CTGP update, as always, because you know the new tracks in these updates, they're always mind blowing. And also the major updates, they're always just so incredibly well done. And this track is no exception to that rule. I just love this team. Like this ice beam with poisonous lakes, that's just a really cool idea. Normally you see these poisonous lakes, at least when it comes to Mario games, you often see them in like jungle levels, but you never really see them in ice levels. So that's a, re that's a really interesting idea, I gotta say. Man, I love these... Oh god, <laughs> okay, it actually hit me this time around. Still, I love these poisonous hotheads. They're such a cool inclusion. And then we get some ramps here. And then we kind of... What? That went for me? I was in second. Oh my gosh, we're actually getting like 4th here. Oh my god, no! <laughs> okay, that's not a very good start. We got 2nd. That's embarrassing. We lost to CPUs. Dang. But this track's amazing. This track is really, really well done. Alright, and let's move on to the next track now. Ooh, I've seen this track on YouTube. This was created by Mr. Fluffy. In my opinion, Mr. Fluffy is one of the best, if not very best, CT creators of all time. He has already made three tracks prior to this that all got in CTGP. They are Camp Cardigan, Spectral Station and Quaking Mad Cliffs and all of them are just so amazing. So this track's probably gonna be very amazing as well. Visually it already looks just so freaking amazing dude. The visuals here are incredible. Alright. And looking at the minimap there's two split paths here it seems like so we definitely gotta remember to take both of them. We have three laps, so we should be able to take them. And yeah, so far this track isn't too crazy. It's pretty simple so far. Alright, here we get an ice section. Uh, here we get a split path, it seems like. Let's just take it. Uh, okay, that's actually not off-road. At first I thought it was off-road, but okay. That's a little weird. But yeah, this track looks very, very cool so far. And then we have this more grassy section. Did you see that dolphin? Was it a dolphin in the water? That's so cool. This track is so animated. Love that. It's interesting that this has Sherbet Land music. Wouldn't expect this from a, you know, like more water track. From a water track, I would rather expect something like Koopa Cave maybe, or 
one of the beach songs, you know, like Shy Guy Beach or um, what's it called, Peach Beach. But no, they actually went with Sherbet Lands, mainly I'm guessing because of that ice section, I guess. Let's take the other split path right now, it seems like that's one, that one's here, okay, that's kind of hard to see, but it's a pretty cool split path. I wonder which one's faster, I would say probably the ice one, because that one's like more straight, but I don't know, I'm not a time trialer, so I don't know, if you guys know, then just let me know in the comments. And yeah, we're entering lap 3, this track is incredible so far, I really like this track. It definitely holds up to Mr. Fluffy's crazy high standards. Like, Mr. Fluffy is just so great. He does some of the best tracks of all time. Look at these jellyfish. Man, this track is so cool. I love how animatic this is. There's like lots of fish and everything around the track, swimming, swimming in the water, you know? And there's also penguins here, that's pretty cool. Is this off-road? No, that's, uh, that's actually not off-road, that's weird. But whatever. Yeah, look at these dolphins. That's so cool, man. Love that. And boom, that concludes Super Marine World. This track is so amazing. Love that. Definitely another banger by Mr. Fluffy right here. Alright, so here we got Superstar Dystopia. This track looks crazy. Look at this, there's like... This is like an apocalyptic world, I guess? <laughs> a world after a nuclear war, it seems like. There's just like poisonous green smoke on the ground. I don't even know how to describe this. This track looks insane. And this was created by Spike It, by the way. And normally Spike It does like lots of like simple tracks. So this is definitely very surprising to see. It's a two lap track. That's interesting. Okay, it seems like there's three pathways here. But we'll only be able to take two of them because this is a two lap track. Music is Moonview Highway. That's not really surprising. This is kind of a city. And yeah. This track is pretty fun so far. Look at these drums! Dude, the drums are just looking crazy every time. <laughs> with Magmatic Sanctuary, with this track now. Love that. In general, I really love when objects are like, you know, when they're just like custom objects. That's always really cool. And here we get a cannon, it seems like. Yep. You kind of shoot through the, through the floor. This track is crazy, dude. Oh my god, okay, where am I going? I don't know. Uh, help? Okay. What? <laughs> okay, I have no idea where we're going here. Oh, it seems like the other way around. Okay. That's a little hard to see. That's a little blind. I don't know if I like that. But this track's really cool so far. Really like this track, except for that part. Okay, we're getting blue shells. Good old Marika Wii. Okay, we, <laughs> we fell to Power Dodge. That's hilarious. And we gotta remember to at least take one of the other three pathways, you know? There was a one section where we could choose, um, you know, to go three different pathways, but this is a two-lap track, so that's not possible. Let's just take this one, I guess. We got a half pipe here, that's pretty cool. Love the half pipes. And yeah, did we just collect the item through the fence, or did I just see things? I don't know. <laughs> These storms, man. Love that. There's just so many objects here. This is by far one of Spike Kids' best tracks ever. Like, my favorite Spike track is probably still, um, what's it called? Acrodome Stage. Still absolutely love that track, but this track is a close contender. Spike it as well. He, he was, um, like, he was always very good. Like, most of his tracks that are still in CTGP, they're just okay. But looking at when they were actually created, they were really good back then. And, you know, this track is also very good for today's standards. So, Spike it. Good job, mate. And we gotta remember to go here. Okay, that part is a little but that part is a little blind. Don't like that. But other than that, this track's really good. Can we jump down here? Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. But yeah, that already completes this track. This track is really well done. All right, we got Thump Bump Forest here. This track was created by Squire Turnbolt, and seems like this is a Halloween themed track. I already saw some pumpkins and orange trees and booze. So that's pretty cool. I think there was also a mansion behind us, that's pretty cool. And yeah, let's just see how this track is gonna play. As I said, this was created by Squire Turnbolt, and this is actually his first track that got added to CTGP, so congrats. Do you see that pumpkin? Also, do you see me just missing the startup boost? That's kind of embarrassing. Oh, we got some, we got some pumpkin goobers there, that's awesome. And also some pumpkin boxes, like crates, you know, like in Toad's Factory. Love that. There's a half pipe, I wonder where that takes us. And yeah, this track's pretty cool so far. Love the visuals as well, the visuals are very beautiful. 
I love that mix of like orange, green, and like blue and purple. That's so cool. Oh, look at these boos. They're like the ones from DS Luigi's Mansion by Talk. Awesome. Alright, seems like we get a tree branch here. We're getting pouch. I think there was some bats up there, but not quite sure about that. Okay. Okay, we're <laughs> hitting the off-roads. There's some light blocks, that's also pretty cool. This track really reminds me of like new Super Mario Bros. Wii so far. Because there's also like these light blocks in the ghost levels. Look at these! They're also from new Super Mario Bros. Wii, like kind of. These bruisers, I believe they're called. That's awesome, dude. This track has so many different sections. But it seems like this is a pretty long track though. Look at this, we're already one minute in and we've just completed the first lap. So this track's gonna be pretty long. Alright, so it seems like on uh, with these split paths, on the left one there's an item box and on the right one there's a booth panel. So it seems like the left one is like rather good for like the back positions, you know, to get a good item. And the right one is better for like runners, you know, for running people. Because, you know, they want to be fast and there's an item set right after that as well. That's so cool, that's such a neat idea. Love that. This track's amazing. And every section is so different as well. There's like the beginning with the split path and all the pumpkin stuff. Then there's like the tree branch section. There's the mansion. Man, this track's incredible. Honestly, this is one of the best tracks that I've ever played. Like, this is definitely top 10. Top 10 tracks in CTGP. It is a little long, but I think this, this track is so interesting that it doesn't really matter how long it is because this track just. It does so much right, honestly. Okay, <laughs> dude, these bruisers are kind of scary, I gotta say. We're gonna take this pathway, we already have an item, so we're taking the, the running pathway and not the bagging pathway. And yeah, I haven't seen any shortcuts yet, I don't know if there is any. Let's take this half pipe now. Let's see where that takes us. Okay, uh, <laughs> I think you shouldn't take that half pipe, that's kind of jank, but whatever. Oh, was there a shortcut? I think there was a shortcut right there, but I don't know. Bro, this track is insane. I know I've been saying this so much already, but man, this track is actually insane. Oh, was there a shortcut? I think there was a shortcut. You could kind of like come out of the wall. But where do you enter the shortcut? Not quite sure about that one. But that concludes Stump Bump Forest. Alright. Dude, this track's incredible. This is easily a top 10 track for me. This is definitely the best track we've played in this update so far. And now let's move on to the last brand new track here. Okay, I, I've also seen this one on YouTube. This track is Vile Isle. This was created by Citrus. And just look at this. Dude, this track looks incredible visually. This is one of the best looking tracks of all time. Like, I'm not even kidding. This track looks incredible. And yeah, let's just see how this is gonna play. All right, so we got a turn here. That's pretty cool. Uh, seems like there's a split path here. We can go here and it seems like we can go up there. And then maybe there's like a shortcut, you know, when driving inside. I don't know how that exactly works. And looking at the minimap, there's also a shortcut to the left of us, it seems like. That's pretty interesting. Look at the item boxes, they have like skulls on them. That's pretty cool. Oh, dude, these bone goombas look amazing, dude. I always love these custom objects. Custom objects, like, I I'm such a sucker for custom objects, honestly. They're one of my favorite parts of CTs. And look at this part as well. Like, this section just looks so detailed. Okay, I tried going for that. I'm pretty sure in the showcase where I originally saw this track, you could actually make that. <laughs> so I tried going for it, but it seems like I got patched. But man, this track just looks incredible, dude. Let's just throw this blue shell. Let's see if that's gonna hit. And there was a split path right at the beginning. Let's just take that again. Maybe we're getting shrooms. Okay, we're not getting any items. But yeah, let's just take this. Okay, that's neat, I guess. I don't know which one's faster. Okay, not gonna get hit by that. As I said, visually, one of the best tracks of all time. And track design voice, very, very good as well. Like, there's like no flaw here. Love that. Okay, seems like that's already off road. That's a little hard to see. But I guess I got used to it. And this actually has N64 Bowser's Castle music, by the way. That's kind of surprising. Okay, so it seems like there's no split path inside. Okay, I didn't see that. <laughs> okay, so you can just take two, two split paths there. Alright. But yeah, it's pretty interesting how this has actually N64 Bowser's Castle music. 
you know from track with this theme I would have thought they went with like Ghost Valley obviously because that's a ghost track or at least like Twisted Mansion or uh, although that's not really like a ghost theme music I guess but yeah whatever I guess N64 Boss's Castle also fits kinda and yeah that concludes all the new tracks that got added in this update dude they were incredible they were so good like every single track here was incredibly well done Especially Super Marine World, Thumb Bump Forest, and Vile Isle. Those were by far my favorites. But the other two tracks were also really, really solid. Alright, and now we're moving on to some major updates. Let's do it. Aw, oh, come on. As soon as I saw that SNES Mario Circuit 2 was getting added, I was like, please add the Mario Kart 8 style version. You know, this track was made by ZPL, and he's actually made two versions of this track. Uh, you know, this one, and then there's one that looks pretty Mario Kart 8 style, I would say. Like, it's very... It, it looks kind of similar to, like, SNES Stone on Planes 3. Um, but yeah, sadly they added this one. I guess track design-wise, this one's exactly the same. But I would I would have really loved to see that Mario Kart 8 style version. Because we already have SNES Mario Circuit 1. That one already looks very similar to this one. But I guess it's still good. It's still better than the old version that we have prior to this. And yeah. So far this drives pretty much the same, but the visuals are a little nicer than the old version. It's no longer a copycat of SNES Mario Circuit 3, now it's just a copycat of SNES Mario Circuit 1. <laughs> just kidding, but okay, ZPL, don't get me wrong, I really love their tracks, but they really should have went with the Mario Kart 8 style version, to be honest. In my opinion, that would have made much more sense. But this version is still very good though. We get so many tracks in this update, I might actually do a separate CTGP backwards video for all the tracks that got added in this update, maybe. I don't know, let's just see how I'm gonna do it. And yeah, as I said, this remake is very very good, but honestly they should have went with the Mario Kart 8 version, that would have been much better. But yeah, we're gonna be moving on to N64 Frappe Snowland now. Alright, so this is the Mario Kart 2 version, I've also seen this one. And this one just looks so much better, like, just compare this to the old version. The difference between these versions is like night and day. Like, this one just looks so incredible, while the old one looked like really outdated and basic. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this version doesn't actually change that much about the track design itself. But the visuals are just so good now, so that's really good. We, it seems like we got kind of like a bump at the start, that's a little weird, I think that kind of slowed us down there. Not quite sure though. But yeah, track design wise, it seems like the world is wider now, I'm not exactly sure why. I don't feel like the road in the older version was like too narrow. So that's an interesting choice. Okay, this part's a little bumpy. Oh dude, look at this, we got a coffee shop there. That's interesting. Pretty sure that's probably because of the name Frappe No Land. I don't know if this track was actually named Frappe No Land because of like Frappe, with the drink, you know. I don't know. Nintendo, if you're watching this video, Please answer. <laughs> and yeah, there's not much more to say other than that this track looks just beautiful now. Like the textures here are just so... They, they just look so nice. That's one of my favorite parts about modern custom tracks. They just look so good. They look much better than any track in normal Mario Kart Wii, which is impressive. And I don't know why that one part is so bumpy, but it doesn't make that much of a difference. Look at these walls as well. Dang. And we get a lot of tracks that got Sherbet Lamp music here. I think it's already the third track here with Sherbet Lamp music. And we're still playing GBA Snow Land after this, so we might actually have four tracks in this update that all got Sherbet Lamp music. <laughs> that's weird. And yeah, that's it for Frappe Snow Land. Look at, this, look at this bridge as well. But yeah, that concludes this track. And we're moving on to the last major update now, which is GBA Snow Land. Oh, and by the way, because I forgot to mention this, this track was created by Nintendo Yoshi, so very well made. Whoa, okay, didn't expect that. Yo, this looks interesting. Look at that road, it's like much darker now. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it. But it doesn't look like icy anymore, like it doesn't look like it's just normal ice. It looks like it's like bricks. I don't actually know what the, what's the proper name for that, I suck at English. <laughs> but this looks really good so far. And this remake of Snowland was created by CP Fusion, so it's his first track that got added to TGP, so congrats, mate. 
And yeah, let's just see how this is gonna play. So far, it plays very well. It seems like the strike got actually downscaled, which is awesome because I think the old version seems kind of like long stretched. Really like that change. And yeah, the visuals obviously they look really good. Other than that, I didn't notice too many changes here. There's the boost panels though, so that's really cool. Add some variety to the track. Which is definitely something that Snowland needs. Snowland always has been one of the most basic tracks of all time. Like the version that was in CTGB prior to this was alright, but like nothing special, you know? But this version just seems so much better. Look at this! Dude, look at this! What's that? Okay. <laughs> That's, a, that's an interesting pathway, I don't know if that's actually faster. And it seems like we can still take these icy pathways, there's also some boost panels here. This track has just so much more to it now. This track is so much better now. Okay, <laughs> that's, still, that's still pretty thick off-road. Oh, look at that penguin, that's pretty cool. And that shortcut got a ramp now, so you actually can do it with one shroom now. I'm pretty sure we actually needed two shrooms on that shortcut before that. This track is so much better now. Holy I didn't expect to see a good remake of Snowland. Like, that's definitely something that I wouldn't have expected. Let's just take this pathway now. Alright, that's no longer slippery road, that's always great to hear. In general, I think the entire track is just normal road. That's awesome. Normally with ice tracks, people tend to go with slippery road. And, to clarify, I don't like slippery road. <laughs> like, for, for every future track that I'm playing, if I don't like them, always keep in mind, the reason might be Slippery Road. I don't like DK Jungle Parkway because of Slippery Road, for example. And same with like Peach Beach, Shy Guy Beach. Okay, with Shy Guy Beach is because the track is just garbage, but whatever. And yeah, I don't know what I'm even talking at this point, but this concludes GBA Snowland, and that also concludes the major updates here. And let's just move on to the last two tracks here. Those tracks are minor updates, and we're gonna be playing Lunar Spaceway now. Alright, so this track already got updated in the last CTGP update, you know, the first one in December. So I'm gonna guess that this is just a bug fix update. You know, I'm gonna guess that there was probably just some bug here and they just fixed that. So let's just see. They did actually make some changes to the track in the last update, but I can't really imagine them already making more changes just like not even one month after that. That would be kind of weird. So yeah. I'm gonna assume that this is just a hotfix update. So far, I've not noticed any differences so far. Yeah, I didn't notice any changes here in the first lap, so I'm gonna guess that this is just a hotfix update, and if that's the case, if I don't notice any other changes, I will just move on to the next track, which is gonna be Desktop Dash. Alright, so here we got Desktop Dash. This is the last track of the video. So far, it seems the same, at least visually. It still looks alright, I guess. <laughs> Desktop Dash doesn't look perfect but it looks alright and yeah let's just see if they change anything for this track I hope they fix some sharp turns here because this track has some turns that I don't like also please can I stop failing those freaking startup boosts <laughs> what I'm gonna guess is that they probably removed the shroomless shortcut because it's one of the easiest and best shroomless shortcuts oh okay that ramp got removed that's interesting I don't know if I like that but it seems like this section is easier now I don't think there's tones at the shop anymore. I don't know if we can still take that. Okay, I'm just gonna use my bullets. Uh, okay, I'm gonna guess that that is off-road now. Like, that had a di different texture, so I'm really just gonna guess that it's off-road now. But I don't know. The Mika is still there, that's not great to hear. <laughs> Alright, so this track definitely got quite some changes, that's for sure. Okay, let's try going the other way here. Is there another, is there another way here? Or did that one get, just get removed? Oh, that's a shortcut now. Interesting. Before that, there used to be like three different pathways. Now there's just one normal pathway and two shortcuts. All right. Okay. The boost panel still got removed. And yeah, yeah, the shortcut's gone. It seems like I think this is off road, right? Wait, actually, no. That's just. I'm so dumb. It's actually just the boost panel being removed. That makes more sense. All right. I know if I like this new version. I don't know. I'm always disappointed when shortcuts get removed. So, yeah. But other than that, this update, at least the tracks that get added slash updated, were really good. But now, it's time to talk about why this update made me sad. It's time to talk about the removals. The following minutes of the video should be seen as constructive criticism. I know that I'm probably just gonna sound like a 7 year old that's raging all the time, but man, 
I was already very disappointed with the removals in the first December update, but the removals in this update just made me infinitely sad. So I just want to explain why these removals were definitely not good decisions. First of all we have Sunset Circuit. This in my opinion was the only good removal in this update. Sunset Circuit was a pretty bad track. If I were to give this track a score from 0 to 10, 0 being basically unplayable, 10 being perfect and 5 being neutral, Sunset Circuit would probably get a 4 out of 10. My problem with Sunset Circuit was just that it was a speed mod track and I'm not a big fan of speed mod tracks and they should probably also remove GP Mario Beach at some point because I find that track to be even worse than Sunset Circuit. So yeah, Sunset Circuit was a good removal but the other tracks weren't. The second removal was Cookie Village. I am still kind of fine with this removal, Cookie Village was very unmemorable and it wasn't that great either, you know it was better than neutral I would say, but the track design was just okay and the visuals were decent. And while normally I would be very pissed if tracks like these get removed, this track just really gets overshadowed by the last three removals. So yeah, let's just continue with those because those removals were actual garbage. First off we got Saltwater Lake. Now I know that Saltwater Lake wasn't really a very popular track. I think when it got added to CGGP, lots of people actually hated it and wondered why it got added. But in my opinion Saltwater Lake was one of the very best simple tracks. While the track was short, the track design was put together incredibly well. It also had unique visuals and well placed objects like the waterfalls. I'm gonna talk about why short tracks shouldn't be removed later. But for now let's move on to Cool Castle Canyon. Yes, you've heard the right, Cool Castle Canyon got removed. I also couldn't believe it at first. They're actually removing sneaky tracks by this point. This is ridiculous. If amazing tracks like these constantly get removed in the next couple updates, then at some point they're gonna remove New Moon Manor and I don't even wanna think about that. And yes, I know that this track was unpopular, it rarely got picked online, that is very true. But the thing is, CTGP has over 200 tracks, so some tracks just are less memorable than other tracks, so people are not gonna pick it. But a track not being picked very often online doesn't equal a track being actually bad. There are just a few tracks like Mushroom Peaks, Glimmer Express Train, Sahara Hideout and some couple other tracks that are just getting picked online very often. And that way people just forget about all the other tracks. And that is just the main problem, and that's why so many great tracks are just getting removed all the time. I don't know the perfect solution to this situation, but I think one possible way would be to just add additional track slots. The thing is just, at this point every single track in CTGP is either good or it's bad but the track council doesn't want to remove it. And that just leads to these good tracks being removed all the time and sometimes even amazing tracks being removed, like Cool Castle Canyon in this case, and that just might lead to some players being mad and uninstalling CTGP and no longer playing it. And I don't want that obviously, Mario Kart Wii is my favorite game of all time and I want as many players as possible to play it. CTGP has had 216 track slots for over 7 years. So I think by this point it is really time to add more track slots so these amazing tracks don't get removed anymore. And now it's time to talk about another issue. Short tracks are getting removed all the time. Which leads us to our last removal here, which is Secluded Island. This track, in my opinion, was a top tier track. It is incredibly fun to play, and in my opinion, this is the single best looking CT of all time, and it's not really close. But this track was really short, which is probably the reason why many people didn't pick it online. For this and many other tracks like Shadow Woods and Saltwater Lake, that ultimately led to the tracks being entirely removed from the pack. And if this happens to all short tracks, then at some point we're just gonna end up with a pack where every track is just like 3 minutes long and I definitely don't want that. Races would just drag on for way too long on many of these tracks. So to make a quick conclusion. In my eyes, CTGP Revolution ran out of tracks that they can remove. That might sound like a good thing, but it's really not, because that just leads to good tracks being removed all the time. And in my opinion, CTGP Revolution shouldn't be a pack where every track gets picked online all the time. It should be a pack where every track is good. I hope that despite all things, we're still having a wonderful day. I wish you a Merry Christmas to everyone celebrating. And I will see you in the next video. And as always, enjoy Wario on Drugs.